All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Makwan Amir Khani and Hanato Moikano. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes no wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures it. Oh, it's up. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't, he doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVayne. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal Brazil, Renato Moicano Canero. And now introducing his opponent, out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, Mach 1, Mr. Finland, Amir Khani. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to start to advance position and get ground and bound off. Nice kick. Lands the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice punch by Moicano. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Moicano gets hit by that leg kick. 
Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well-placed kick there by Makwan Amir Khan. Well, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Amir Khan gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Real quick leg kiss. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Slips that left hand. Moicano gets caught with that punch. Nice one-two there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the Tim without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Just over two minutes now to go. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have now landed for Hanato Moikana. That's a big strike right there. Just misses there with the left. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Moicano. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Moicano. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him, yep, there absolutely. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Second round here. Oh, 
Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Moicano. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big leg kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. It's nice punch lands over the top. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Takedown defense holds up. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Go finish his fight. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just over three minutes to go. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Boycano's shot there is blocked. Just missed with that right hand. Moicano's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice straight punch. Head kick lands. Wow. Amir Khani gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on drinking uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. Nah, stop it. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mess. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, has the guard closed here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, side control now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Relentless pressure from the top by Moicano. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Moicano's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Amir Connies has got full mount now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. 
All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. previous round he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign too doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever pinpoint accuracy on that kick no wind up no tell just a brutal kick Amir Khani gets hit with that hook shot there he's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here good stick And he switches to Southpaw. He loaded up with that right too. What a body kick. Amir Khani gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Boycano gets hit with a kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left! Three minutes. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Stuff the takedown. Oh, that's a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount, and now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. And there it is! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee E for B. That's going to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. 
and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.